Hey guys, Super Mario Punch 45 here, and today we are going to be reviewing the TMNT Mutant Mayhem Splinter. So, yeah, I got another one. Yay! Um, so yeah, let's go over his bio. Splinter, Rat Dad slash Sensei. Splinter is coping with the fact that his four sons are growing up. He's made a wonderful sewer home for his family, but now his sons need independence, and New York needs his sons. Weapons, walking stick, sword, dream to protect his sons. So, going with a lot more of an emotional take. You know, he's just a dad, not just their master, but a dad. So, kind of heartwarming. Anyways, uh, he, he does have the, you know, obviously, he's got this right here, but he can stand kind of okay without it. He does tend to lean over a lot, but... But, yeah, I don't know why it's like this, but... Oh, hold on. Let me fix his stance. Uh, there we go. We kind of have to have his feet like this. Kind of. Stand him up, but he should be fine. So, obviously you'll notice that if you've seen any of the part, uh, the trailers in the movie, he's supposed to be brown, not gray. It's a little weird that they made him gray. Uh, possibly this is just based on concept art. But overall, I think he looks, you know, obviously he looks very accurate to how he does in the film. Uh, you know, you know, just nicely detailed and all that stuff. Uh, so yeah, a couple of uh, areas where there's some paint errors, not. Anything that's colored incorrectly, it's just some, like a splotch on his uh, hand. I think some of the paint is starting to rub off, maybe, on his hand. If you notice, his hands, you know, he's missing a... He got some gray blotches on the back of his sleeve. They are there, trust me. And my camera is being dumb. But overall, I mean, like most of the figures, he's still very top quality. And if you're wondering, yes, just like Donatello, his glasses do come off. So if you don't want your Splinter to wear his glasses, um, because of the way his head is, they actually attach in the back of his head. So if you do take them off, there are there are going to be holes in the back of his head where his ears are. But other than that, it's fine. Personally, I just like that. I like. I honestly like Splinter. Having the glasses because again, he just is he supposed to be a dad. You know how old he is. He's definitely just gonna be wearing glasses. So his articulation is not that poseable. He's about as limited as Superfly maybe. He has there we go a uh, rotation head. And his head is not is not on a ball joint, so it can't go up and down. He's got a swivel and hinge at the shoulder, at the elbow, and a swivel at the wrist. Same with the other arm. Then the legs, he has them that move. He, he can really, I guess if you want to, sit. Except the tail. The tail swivels, but no hinge or ball joint. Uh, and then he has no knees, actually, believe it or not. And this is a little weird, but it seems that one of his legs is smaller than the other, which is a little on the weird side. But overall... He's still very top-notch quality, like I said. Uh, but, yeah, and the color thing is a little weird. But, let's go over his accessories. First off, he has, you know, a cane. You think it's just a basic cane, and then it's a, it's a freaking sword. Um, sorry, I'm uh, trying to put the blade back into it. There we go. Oh, he can't hold it, obviously, like a cane. Obviously, he can hold it like a cane, and if you happen to need him to hold it, there we go, it kind of helps him up. Or if you want to take the cover off and have him hold it like this in his hand, and he can hold it up and fight, you know. But I honestly would just personally just leave this as a cane, because he comes with an even cooler accessory, in my opinion. And that is, well, I'll show you that in a second. With... A bow and arrow. I have the bow in his hand right now. 
Um, one thing though. I actually added this string myself. This is the string that actually holds them into the package. Because this does not have a molded string on it. So I just took this out and I tied it. I thought it looked cool. And he comes with three arrows. So, in the future, just remember. comes with three arrows. Um. No quiver to hold them. That's a little weird, but I can show you him holding it. You know, getting ready to fire off an arrow. There he is holding the bow and arrow. It looked like he's getting ready to shoot it. I just, I just tucked it into the tight area to where it holds it up, and I kind of laid it on top of his fingers. But it works. It looks pretty cool, honestly, if you can do it. I don't know if I'll display him like this, because if you turn him around... Honestly, that actually doesn't look half bad. <laughs> honestly... Well the, the, well, the wonky thing is, is that the air is the string. The string is kind of wonky. That's the one thing. I might just, just go on and display my hand. Oh, and by the way, if you want to know how tall he is, just for comparison, here is Mikey. And Mikey is taller than him. And he is about, I would say, four inches tall. The other turtles are like 4.5 to 4.6 inches. Some, and I don't know which ones would really be the five inch mark, but... So he looks, he looks really cool holding it. I'll show you some of his other weapons. Hi, but they gave him two extra sword canes. I guess in case you lose the one that came with him, you know, you get two extras to replace it. And they're actually a little bit smaller, so they fit a little bit more loosely. So I can imagine these actually get lost a lot better. I just had him hold them like these because just unpainted, they look more like tonfas. If you've ever watched Rise of uh, TMNT, you know what a tonfa is. But he's got two more accessories. He's holding his two ninja stars, which actually are just smaller versions of Michelangelo's. But, I mean, they're still kind of cool. What are my thoughts on Splinter? Well, well, his articulation isn't, well, you know, great. I think he still is a good figure. And if you want to pick, and obviously, if you get the four turtles, you probably should just go on and get Splinter. Personally... I like this figure. I know a lot of people were a little iffy on his design. But you know what? I don't mind it. Now that I get a good look at it. I don't mind the design that much. And yes, I was able to get him to hold both his cane and his bow and arrow. So I can display him with both of his weapons. Cool. Thanks so much for watching. Make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see you guys next time.